Have you ever wondered what would happen if you put a car engine into an aircraft and tried to fly it? Would it ever make it off the ground? What's the difference between an engine that allows passenger vehicles to cruise along the motorway, trucks to drive off-road or race cars to speed around a track, and an engine that allows a plane to lift off the ground and propel it through the air at incredible speeds? In reality, and especially from an external point of view, a car engine and aircraft engine are really not that far apart from another. Let's take a look at the traditional internal combustion engine that's found in a car. Air is drawn from the outside into its cylinders and fuel from the fuel tanks. This air-fuel mixture is stored in a cavity under the engine's pistons and here, the mixture is compressed and ignited, normally through means of a spark plug. Essentially, the mixture explodes, and this drives the piston up and down, causing a repetitive chain reaction of small controlled explosions repeating the process over and over again. The piston itself is connected to a drive shaft, and in this connection, thermal energy released from the fuel ignition is converted to kinetic energy, and the drive shaft, which is connected directly to the wheels of the vehicle, uses this kinetic energy to rotate at a high speed, allowing the wheels to spin, and of course as a result, the car to move. In an aircraft engine, air is again drawn from the outside, but this time from the inlet of the aircraft engine, which can be a large fan, prop, or duct, which sucks in the air and instantaneously forces this air into a compressor, where the engine's combustor ignites the air with fuel and finally blasts this ignited mixture at incredible speeds out the back of the engine. This exit blast, exhausted from the rear of the engine, produces what is known as thrust, the force which allows an aircraft to move. There are many types of aircraft engines. For example, the simplest aircraft engines are piston engines, which are closest in resemblance to the engines found in cars, with several modifications to allow for flight. You'll normally find piston engines in smaller, slower aircraft. For larger, more powerful aircraft, you'll also find the turboprop, turbofan, and turbojet engines, which are widely used in transport, passenger aircraft, as well as fighter jets. You've also got special airplane engines, like a ramjet, which really can only be used at very high speeds. A ramjet has no fans or props, and instead relies on a very fast aircraft velocity to allow compressed air to, as its name suggests, get rammed into the engine, immediately causing combustion and insane amounts of thrust to be produced. As each of these above described engines are incredibly detailed and don't function 100% identically to each other, I'll cover the separate types of commonly found aircraft engines in a future video in more detail. In other words, as you can see, when comparing an automobile engine and an aircraft engine, they both perform the same major four functions, and that is air is first compressed, second heated, third used or translated to do some sort of work, and four expelled as an exhaust. In layman's terms, for short, that's suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. The true difference between them lies in the time versus space at which each engine performs those above functions. In a car engine, all these steps occur in the same space, or within the piston driveshaft assembly discussed earlier, but at different points in time. In an aircraft engine, however, all of these steps occur at the same time, but at different points in space. And these points are the turbine prop or fan, the compressor, the combustion chamber, and finally the exhaust nozzle. So before you try gluing wings onto the car sitting in your garage in an attempt to fly off into the distance, hopefully with this video you've learned a bit about the differences between a car and aircraft engine, and realized that although they aren't all that different in function, it might not be as easy as it seems.